Hi traders, my name is Nenad Kerkes, also known as Tarantula, or you can call me NKT. I've been a full-time professional trader since uh, 2008. And now in cooperation with FXDD, we will be doing uh, live webinars and education. As you already know, Elite Currency and FXDD made a partnership and we all already announced it on our different uh, social networks. So you can always check what's going on, uh, of course, uh, on my Instagram page and on Elite Currency and, of course, FXDD. If you go to FXDD website, you will find my increased price section and wave analysis each day. So you can also benefit from the analysis because it shows clear entries, uh, possible targets. And of course, if you read between the lines, it will also give you a possible stop loss placement. Uh, also, uh, I'm very proud to announce that we'll be doing a series of uh, live webinars, uh, trading education, such as systems, intraday trading, uh, scalping systems, uh, swing uh, trading systems, and so on. You can always check our performance on myfixbook.com because, guys, we like to keep it uh, clean. We are uh, traders, not just analysts and educators. And my personal opinion is that if you are a trader, you also need to show results to people who you teach, right? So it's not just blah, blah. It's a clear structure where everything is clear and precise. Okay, guys. So uh, I will following uh, your questions. So if you have any questions, guys, feel free to ask me. Uh, we'll be doing uh, some uh, analysis before if we actually make any trade today. But have in mind, guys, that today is a very risky day. OK, we will have a Brexit, OK, Brexit announcement, uh, probably, in my opinion, in three hours. But also it can it can it can uh, came it can actually came, uh, come out a little bit uh, earlier. So my opinion is that if, it, if you open a trade, uh, you should do it with a lower risk. OK, and actually how we are going to do these live webinars, depending on the size of your account, uh you might opt for uh well let's say low risk trades because my opinion is that if you are trading with a low risk you will always have a greater chance of success than if you were trading with a high risk okay the leverage definitely should should help you out but have in mind guys that uh trading is not about just watching the system the signal from a system you are actually trading the risk you need to know that so when you're actually opting for a trade you are trading the risk okay not just the risk uh, uh, in the markets but the actual your account risk so stop losses can always be dynamic let's say 20 30 50 60 pips of loss but your risk should be fixed okay so if you're trading uh, with any size of the account keep the risk in between 0 0.5 and 2 percent per trade Per trade, do not risk more than 5% per day. Because if you go with a higher than a 5% risk, you might also risk, uh, well, uh, chasing the trade, revenging the trade, and you might get into a danger zone, okay? And that can actually uh, kill your account, okay? Do not do that. Uh, also, my background uh, before I actually delve in deeper into uh, possible setups before the Brexit announcement, uh, I run a Forex factory, factory thread uh, named Spiders Dan, and uh, I've been an active member also on, on FX3.com and active contributor. Uh, last year, both Chris and I got the award for the best analysts, sell side analysts on FX3.com. Also, a year uh, before that, so in 2000. 17 uh i got an award for the best podcast we also contribute to forexempire.com and as i said a forex factory uh, i was i had like four million views of my trade before i was moved to commercial section on forex factory so i'm not that active on forex factory anymore except that i post different uh, i'm reposting analysis uh, webinars and so on on my thread it's called spiders then but as i say it's not very active because it, it's, it's been moved to commercial section. And before that, I was in top three traders out of uh, uh, 300,000 traders. 
uh, influencers, as you may call it, on a Forex factory. But nevertheless, guys, I'm, I've been a full-time trader. I like to trade. This is who I am. And you can only expect a full dedication from my part because I am totally and fully dedicated to the world of Forex trading. And the most important, guys, I love this job. Okay. So enough with the blabber and uh, enough with this talk okay i if anything is not clear guys you can always ask me i'm watching my other two monitors also and i'll be paying attention to your questions okay so the first thing that i wanted to uh, tell you is that uh, before we actually make any setups uh, pay attention to uh, the chart this is my camarilla magni mtf my proprietary my proprietary trading uh uh platform and uh, my, my, i mean system and uh, basically uh, well the the success is very very good uh since the start of the new year especially this let's say, let's say second week with this new uh, upgraded template uh, out of 15 trades uh 16 trades i made uh 14 wins and only two losses of course guys you need to know that uh losses uh, are uh, inevitable Okay, but it's always good to know that uh, big um, uh, that uh, with a good system you stack the odds into your favor. Okay, so we'll be doing trading uh, from our uh, my proprietary method. So the first thing that I want to check is the euro dollar. The euro dollar actually has a head and shoulders pattern here, guys. So this is shoulder, this is head, this is also shoulder here. But uh, you also need to know that uh, uh, this uh, shoulder here. Okay, he has another shoulder there. So I call this type two, uh, type two uh, head and shoulders pattern. Head and shoulders pattern is also known as uh, SHS. So this is bearish as SHS pattern. So shoulder, head, shoulder, shoulder two. So I expect a new uh, wave of sellers if the price gets here. Okay, so mark, guys, uh, mark these uh, levels on your charts. As I'm saying, today is a usual day. Next trading uh, day, when we have a webinar, will be probably more relaxed because we will not be having any Brexit news. But have in mind that uh, we trade the zone. The price needs to get in the zone, okay? It needs to make some sort of reversal pattern, okay? We're in the zone, and that is how we trade. So my zone is here. This is uh, 89MA, and probably we might see uh, this uh, if, if we see enough of a pullback so 1475 to uh, let's say 4090 could be a first the first zone where we might expect to see a reversal if it's not reversed from this spot here 1458 because this is also a selling spot but as i'm saying i always want to see a bigger pullback and uh, i'm not uh, selling supports nor i'm i'm buying into resistance I always wait for a rally if the trend is to the downside, and I always wait for a dip if the uh, trend uh, is to the upside. Okay, buying the support, selling the resistance in the respective trend. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm waiting for this. This could be a little interesting for me, okay, really uh, to actually see if the price will go uh, there, okay. And then if we see a reversal pattern to this uh, to this side, we might actually uh, short trade the euro dollar. OK. Pound crosses. I will not touch today, guys. OK, I'm not trading the pound. Sometimes not having a position in the market equals to having a profitable position. So do not uh, chase any trades. Let them come to you. Uh, next thing uh, that I want to check is also uh, New Zealand dollar, okay, because it's also in uptrend, okay, these were signals from my method here, but also, guys, uh, we already had a buy trade opportunity, now the price is retracing, probably this is their risking prior to uh, the Brexit uh, news announcement, so again, pay attention, guys, to these zones here, uh, if the price gets close to 68.05, 67.90, here, this is the zone. Also, watch for reversal patterns. Reversal patterns are usually uh, hammers from the support. Uh, 
uh, uh, pre piercing lines, engulfing kennel, such as this is engulfing kennel. You see here, this is actually the engulfing, engulfing kennel. Okay, so always watch for reversal pattern. So if we had traded this setup here, we would have made some small profits, but you see the ATR is also uh, low. Another important factor, guys, when you trade, you always need to watch the ATR. I put the ATR of 14 days. So the ATR of 14 days for uh, uh, New Zealand dollar is only 53 pips. So if you get half of that, as a final result, 25 pips, guys. It's great. A lot of traders simply do not understand when to exit the market. And that's important, guys. If the pair is actually having uh, a 40, uh, 53 pips of, day, of its average daily uh, range or, or average true range, guys, if you take 25 pips, it's good because you, you've taken actually 50% out of it. Contrary to New Zealand or some other pairs, such as GBP crosses, let's see GBP Swiss. You see, uh, they, uh, those pairs will have huge, uh, much bigger ATR, like 117 pips here. So if you take 30, 40, 50 pips, it's still good. Other pairs, uh, such as uh, let's see the GBP New Zealand, uh, 159 pips, guys. So you know, when you trade GBP New Zealand, you don't take for 20 pips, contrary to New Zealand dollars. So you know, it's you need to know which market you trade and then if you actually trade the markets that are uh, uh, that have a bigger atr then you also uh, take bigger profits okay so you see the trend is changing now and we actually have the range this is why markets have been actually ranging so far so we really really need to be patient and wait for the price to come to us okay uh so uh trading ideas for today as i already said possible rejection from 1458 mark it down guys on your charts okay and be careful even if you want to open a trade now you need to do with a half of a normal risk so if your risk is let's say one percent do it with 0 0.5 percent because it's as i'm saying it's not a normal trading day uh Brexit announcement will make probably, in my opinion, a huge spike either to the upside or to the downside. And correlated pairs can also, guys, be affected. Correlated pairs. So please have in mind that uh, it's of utmost importance that you actually uh, trade with a low risk if you open a trade. So possible rejection, I would make a trade if the price had made, uh, let's say, uh, a, a, a reversal pattern now. Uh, I've already traded euro dollar to the downside. Now, guys, I'm waiting for another push and see if the reversal candle shows up. It can be here, even it can go to 15.05 and then reverse. I expect that even if that happens, I will be shorting it, but not during the news announcement because I'll go trading will be at its maximum you know algo robots they're always trading the news releases and they can mess up with your trade so i'll be waiting for the market to actually sell down and when market sells down then i will be making trades also euro dollar is best traded during london and new york session okay uh, during asian session yeah well you can trade it but usually pacific crosses along with yen pairs are traded uh, during uh, uh, tokyo session why because uh, yen pairs australian dollar pairs new zealand dollar pairs are correlated with equities okay especially with nikkei and chinese uh, a50 okay so uh, those chinese markets and uh, nikkei okay japanese 225 index we call it equities uh, they're very very cor correlated to yen pairs and uh, of course uh, uh, australian dollar also because uh, you know it's also a pacific cross okay uh regarding uh, other trade setups uh, dollar cat for example guys this is a short trade but we missed it because you see just uh, two hour prior to our webinar we had a counter trend trade this is actually counter trend trading opportunity you see and now the price is going down so this was actually a counter trade these diamonds are actually signifying a possible counter trend from the EMA 
that I have. It's called T89. Okay, and these these are actually short trades. So Daniel, your question: What do you think about the dollar cat? You see, the trend is to the upside. So if this candle closes above this uh, middle line here, uh, this could be actually a long opportunity. Also, if uh, you want to short it, this is the zone now a little bit higher than this, where you might opt for a short trade. But you can see this was definitely a, a short uh, trade poss possibility. Also, guys, uh, today I was trading CAD Yen and I'm still in a trade on my other account that is connected to my FX book. And uh, this is a trade, uh, what, uh, uh, what we had actually, uh, it was a good one, guys. Uh, I already scaled out, uh, protected my profits, so my entry was also a bit lower. You see a good rejection, this is called T89 entry, uh, and uh, you see a nice profits we made. But as I'm saying, uh, we are trading now specific time, uh, 4 uh, p.m. my time, 3 p.m. GMT, so we really need to be very very you know careful just because of this uh brexit news otherwise i would find probably some trades but uh what i'm saying is focus guys on this also guys uh, this could be also interesting uh, new zealand dollar cat a possible long trade because we are having also t89 pattern uh, clearly with a rejection from the middle of bollinger band inside outside outside inside here guys and if the price gets a close above uh, 1948 here then it will spike additional momentum uh, for bull, bulls and the price could get even higher uh, i would say even up to this uh, uh, confluence of daily h5 camarilla uh, overshot uh, it's called the uh, murray mat and of course the upper uh, bollinger here so I would say uh, this could be also a potential uh, long trade, guys. So watch for it close about 90, 80, uh, 48. Actually, uh, as I'm saying, if we if we were in a normal trading day, I would probably open a live trade now. Okay, so yeah, just for that, we will be having also, guys, live trades. Don't worry about it. Uh, each live trading webinar will be a possible uh, live trade. And also, guys, if you trade it, please do it with a lower risk it's extremely important that you do it with a lower risk okay so ten thousand dollar account you can see it here if we make a trade i would probably put a stop loss below this level here so 1950 including the spread so 1913 12 somewhere around here would be uh, my so it's like 30 pip stop loss so i would uh, trade this with uh, let's say uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.3 lots, half of a normal risk, risk today, okay? If it was for a normal trading day, uh, I would uh, probably open uh, 0 0.7 lots, okay? I, I can go, being a professional trader, guys, up to 3% per trade, but I advise you also to go a little bit lower, like, uh, as I, I was saying, uh, in between 0 0.5 and 2%, depending on your experience. Okay, so uh, New Zealand can also possible long trading opportunity here. Okay, uh, if the price gets above uh, daily L3, I expect the price to proceed further down, uh, further up. Okay, if it gets a close below uh, this zone, daily L5, 38, and this uh, projection low, as I already said, uh, 1930, the price will make probably a bigger correction to the downside. But at this point, guys, uh, this is still a long uh, trading opportunity, okay? So watch for that. So New Zealand dollar cat guys, okay, uh, should be on your watch list, okay? They should not be very, very affected with Brexit, but again, all markets would probably be euro dollar. Uh, and and, 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 and uh, as I already said, uh, well, you can watch, uh, you can watch dollar cat. Okay, a dollar cat is also interesting, but you see, uh, again, if the price makes a spike, again, above this level here, okay, then I guess it will again go to the upside because this is counter opportunity. It's uh, actually, uh, the trend is to the upside. So mixed signals for dollar cat. So primary guys on my uh, watch list is actually uh well uh my uh euro dollar possible euro dollar and new zealand dollar cat 
Here, guys, uh, I have also alerts from my dashboard. You see a lot of lot of trades here. We have an alert for GBP dollar and uh, the Australian dollar CAD. The GBP dollar probably dropped. I'm guessing it. Yeah, you see, guys, that is why I'm saying do not make trades now, guys. This is called their risking. Otherwise, I would have made this trade. And I guess if it was for a normal trading day, this trade would have gone into nice profits. But I'm not taking this because all of this, what you're seeing here, you see these diamonds and arrows are actually signals for trades. And you can see how many good, good signals we actually had uh, with the Camarilla, MACD, and MTF here. I mean, a lot of, a lot of good signals. But you being a trader should not only focus on the signals from your system and you need to assess each trade signal as a trader and if the actual uh, signal is good and you think it's valid from a trader's perspective only then guys you take a trade you do not make random trades out of nowhere like your system is giving us a, a buy you are you all already are opening a buy trade no you need to assess it very important. Where is the price related to Camarillo and Murray map? This would have been a good trade, uh, I guess, uh, unless it is taken in a wrong time. And if I had taken it here, that would have been my mistake because we don't trade the GBP expecting the Brexit announcement, guys. That would be called gambling. You don't do it, okay? You don't gamble. Even if you want to gamble, you will still have more odds winning in Forex market than in casino. But being a professional trader, I, will, I don't advise gambling, guys. You need to be fully clear mind with a clear mind and focused on what, you, on what you're, you're doing. OK. OK, so uh, if we see a potential trade after the Brexit uh, where the price is above 90.48, this is a long opportunity. I will probably trade this. And also, guys, euro dollar. Again, after the Brexit announcement, the price makes a reversal pattern between 1475 uh, and 1505. Somewhere here, guys. Bang. I would like it a little bit higher. 1490 to 1505. Yeah, that is a short opportunity. And we should actually, uh, well, pull the trigger. Okay. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, if not, guys, uh, then uh, we will have a new webinars, a lot of new webinars, trading uh, and educational webinars where I will present you with my systems so you can do some trades okay, uh, in the future. But regarding this webinar, if anything, guys, is not clear, you see, uh, I was right about this. It's rejecting from 1458. Okay, This is called order block. Okay, This low, the swing low, before the actual, this is called order block. So price retested the order block. And went down. Okay, this is also important. Order blocks. We'll be talking about this. Uh, Renu is asking, Hi, Nana, can I please know about gold? Yes, of course, guys. Gold, 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 gold. Uh, yes, uh, XAU USD. This is the gold. Well, again, as I was saying, uh, potential trading opportunity today here. This was a clear signal, but you see a big, big candle. Well, uh, it would have made you some tips actually, even if you traded here. Uh, not much in pips, but then again, you see, as I'm saying, a little bit a wrong time. Uh, nevertheless, uh, you see the signals from previous trades. A lot of, lot of, lot of good signals, guys. Here, yeah, I need just to check the history. Yeah, you see. Then again, uh, I would say regarding gold, if the price gets here, possibly watch for reversal trading opportunities. Okay, uh, I wouldn't trade random gold. Uh, I wouldn't trade anything. Uh, with respect to Brexit news, if you ask me, because uh, yen pairs, uh, especially dollar yen, GBP basket is actually uh, prone to headline risks. All pairs, including whole GBP basket and other pairs such as dollar yen, gold as a commodity is affected by correlation, guys. You need to know about correlation. I will also teach you about different correlation in markets uh, when we get to that specific lesson uh, during my educational webinars. But this is of utmost importance. Every negative and positive correlation that is greater than plus 50 or minus 50 is actually a big risk to your trade. 
So if gold has a positive correlation, unfortunately, I don't have the correlation table right now, but I will get it, of course. And if, 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 if gold has a positive correlation with the GBP pairs, GBP basket, you don't trade it. I wouldn't trade anything. Okay, it's, you know, risk on, risk off. You need to take that into account. Uh, Cody is asking, uh, hi to all and then is it correct to use the histogram peaks on the two line MACD to spot divergence when price is at a correct level? Of course, yes. Uh, what I also do here, histogram peaks, guys, that is a primary tool for spotting divergence uh, with uh, two line MACD. This is actually a modified uh, OSMA indicator. It's not like a standard MACD two line. Well, it is, but it's modified. So uh, I would say yes. For example, if you want to spot a divergence, you use this. You see, so you use peaks here, guys. Okay. You need to use peaks here. Okay, and you don't need a series of higher highs, higher lows, lower highs, uh, higher lows, whatever for divergence. You only need one higher high and a lower high. You know, you only need one peak, a valley, to make it a divergence. And you know how to trade divergence. We also will have that lesson. You can trade it with moving average crossovers and uh, after the divergence has been spotted with MACD crossovers and with a trend line. I will teach you that. Okay, we will we will talk about it. But yeah, uh, Cody, the answer to your question is indeed yes. Yeah, I'm really enjoying guys when you uh, guys when you ask me questions. So if you have any other questions, of course feel free to ask me. I'm there for you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Dana. That helps a lot, as does all your information. I look, I'm looking forward to the further teachings. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm also, guys, looking forward to you. And, of course, don't don't worry, guys. Uh, I will be here, and Chris will be there to help you and guide you to, through this beautiful, beautiful Forex world. Really, really, I, I think this, and this is my passion, and this is my love. So you can always, always count on me to give to give you the best, best possible setups, advice, and of course education. A lot of things in my uh, history as a forex trader I did with trial and error, and fortunately now you have me to guide you through all the errors that I have been personally uh, gone through uh, as, as since I started the forex trading journey, and that is really, really. Oh, well, a huge experience, I need to tell you. Okay, so as I'm saying, you see, guys, the price is not moving. Like, now is the time to my favorite saying, sometimes not having a position equals to having a profitable position, guys. Although uh, we might have a success with a potential New Zealand dollar cat trade here, guys, uh, even if you trade, if you entered earlier, it's good. Because you were trading the actual signal from this spot. But now, guys, if you want to trade it now, I would advise waiting, guys. If you're in a trade, you wait. If your trade goes in profit, it's risky thing. Scale out, put the rest to break even plus one, and ride a free ride. It's called riding a free ride. That is how we traders call when we scale out. Take the half of our trade, put the rest of the trade to break even plus one. Then we are riding a free ride. So if you traded the dollar, maybe the New Zealand dollar cap, if it goes like 15 pips in, in your favor, then scale out the half of the trade, put the rest to break even. But if you want to do it now, I would suggest waiting. Okay. Renu, uh, Nena, where can I find all your uh, teachings, learnings, other than technical analysis? Wow. You can just type it in uh, Google, Nena uh, Kerkes, T or Nenad Kerkes or whatever, and uh, you will see a full list. YouTube usually, but don't worry. Okay, Renu, I advise you to visit each of my webinar because we'll be doing live trading and, and, and we will be also doing educational webinars. So stay tuned to FXDD uh, webinars, okay? And of course, uh, don't worry. I mean, it, it will always be up-to-date information. Other than my other teachings, of course, a lot of videos on YouTube. And of course, we are doing that on Elite Currency. Okay, uh, you can check also EliteCurrency.com. But uh, I'm not doing a lot of, lot of educational stuff, except for price action training school. 
there. So uh, you might see our price section training school also revised. Okay, there is a, the version one and now revised version. And uh, of course, uh, new series of educational webinars with FXDD. Next time we will be talking about scalping. So you will uh, teach a, a very, very good scalping system that I've been using for a lot of, really for a long time. Yes, Cody, these webinars are free to attend. So feel free to sign up and visit it, especially these uh, nice educational and training live webinars with FXDD. You see now it's going up. Really, guys, believe me, if this wasn't now for, uh, let's say, Brexit announcement, I would have entered the setup now. This is very, very, very good setup. I think, in my opinion, New Zealand dollar can. Yeah, I mean, it looks tempting, really. This pin bar rejection, uh, everything is set enough for a long. But as I'm saying, yeah, you might skip it because of the Brexit risk. If you're in a trade and you took this trade, not sure how many of you guys are actually trading the New Zealand CAD, then wait for a price to get 15, 20 pips and then scale out. Okay. Uh, if you have any other question, uh, feel free to ask. So uh, again, eventually, guys, if the one hour candle uh, closes above 90, 80, uh, 48, I might take the trade. So you need to you need to know that this is a potential opportunity, especially if the price just closes above this level and it will go up probably. Uh, stop losses should be placed around 1910. Uh, the risk should be 0.5% of your account. And the final target, guys, is uh, 90. Uh, the final target is uh, 9100, but scale out after 15 pips, put the rest to break even and see if there will be a free ride. Then, uh, yes, if you scale out, there will be a free ride. Euro dollar, also, guys, as I was saying, I was a bit right about this, but I didn't trade it. Uh, wait for the price to get up a little bit higher, then wait for a reversal pattern. Gabriel uh, asking Heinen, how can I have this Camarilla? Just send us an email to info at elitecurrency.com. Okay, guys, and uh, yeah, we will be sending instructions how to. Yep. Okay, guys, uh, I'm really looking forward and very, very, very happy with uh, partnership with uh, FXDD and uh, with all these webinars. So uh, expect new one very soon. Sign up here via Crowdcast. And, uh, well, we will be doing uh, trading, uh, teaching, whatever, guys. And, of course, you can always check my FX book. A New York has started. New my FX book account has been placed. Well, torrential FX. Go to myfixbook.com and enjoy. What can I tell you? Everything is very fine. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I don't see any further questions. I guess we can call it a day. Be careful. Even if you trade with these setups that I presented you with, trade with 0.5% of risk of your account. Okay? And wait for more webinars to come. Thank you all for listening. I wish you a great trading day. Cheers and trade safe.